In today's video, I'm gonna show you something that I've learned that seems to be working with the Freestyle Libre 3. So stay tuned right after this intro. So I'm going to get right into it. So many of you guys know that a lot of people, and maybe you as well, have been having issues with the Freestyle Libre 3. I've been having issues with air problems. The sensor, I put it on my arm, and all of a sudden, it just stops working. I have to send it back to Abbott, and uh, I've got to the point where I stopped sending them back because it's just getting very frustrating and very annoying. They've always been good about sending it back, but it's just very, very frustrating and very annoying and very just altogether time consuming dealing with this issue because I have to go get another one at the pharmacy and then I have to wait for the new one to come in. It's just really, really frustrating. But I did discover something that seems to be working for me. It may not work for you, but I uh, wanted to share it with you guys because maybe it might work for you. So that's what this channel is for, to help you out with things that I discover. So what could it be that I discovered with the Freestyle Libre 3 that might work for you? Now, as you notice, I do not have a Freestyle Libre on my arm as I would normally. I usually keep it about right here, right around here somewhere, but you can see there's nothing there. I do have a Freestyle Libre 3 sensor on right now. Uh, it's actually almost up. I have another one that I'm gonna be putting on in this video. Make sure you stay around for that, all right? So before we get started, if this is your first time checking this channel out, welcome. So thankful you stopped by. I hope that you can walk away with value from this video. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and do that now. Hit the notification bell because I would love for you to be a part of this community. All right, so here we go, guys. Where is my sensor? My sensor is right here. I keep it right here on my chest, as you can see, okay? That's it. I have had no problems with it. Many of you might say, well, what about compression readings, meaning maybe false readings? Absolutely not at all. I am a side sleeper, so uh, I don't really have an issue with this. Uh, I don't have to worry uh, about walking into a door jam and knocking my sensor off. I've had that problem in the past getting hot and sweaty in the hotter season, which is coming up or right around the corner because it's on my chest. I understand females may not want to put it right here, obviously. But if you're a male, you might want to check into doing this. If you're a female, you might still want to do it. If you don't have a problem with that, then I see no problem myself. But I'm going to be alternating from this side into this side. I'm going to actually remove this one. I'm going to trim my hair on my chest right here, and I'm going to reapply the other one. So hang in there and I'll be right back. So I just took it off and I want you to know that I've been using these right here. These are really awesome. These remove the sticky tacky film that's left behind from the Freestyle Libre. Very, very easy. I mean, just a few wipes and it's completely gone. I'll drop a link below where you can find these. These have been really extremely, extremely helpful for me super nice they're oil based um, but it is uh, it's really nice they're little wipes they come in a 50 pack and they last me a long time obviously you know that uh, a freestyle libre will last you about two weeks so if you figure you know you use two of these a month there you go this should last you about two years so with that said I'm going to wipe this off and then I'm going to trim this area and I'm gonna come right back. I'm going to apply the new sensor. All right, I'll be right back. So as you can see, I open the package. This is what it looks like, okay? It comes right off, super easy. Gone, isn't that crazy? Amazing how fast that comes off. Completely gone, okay? Now, I will be right back in just a second. I'm gonna trim this side before I apply the new sensor. So, I got the area trimmed off, ready to go. I have the sensor ready to go. This is the Freestyle Libra 3, as you can see. 
It's a lot smaller than the first and the second. I said a lot of things that I do not like about this in another video you can see on my channel. I'll link it to this video somehow so you can check it out. But I will say I do like the fact that I do not have to hold my phone up to the sensor all the time like the first one and the second one. This one automatically every minute checks my glucose on my phone. With it being right here in the chest, people don't know that I have a CGM. And I will say a little story. I was at a fast food restaurant a while back and I had a lady, she came from behind the counter and said, are you a diabetic? And I said, yeah. She goes, I am too. I see your meter pulled my sleeve up and said, I got one too. And lifted her shirt up a little bit right below and had a Dexcom. And I'm like, okay, first of all, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't want to see that, you know? And, uh, but you know, it's more discreet and I don't have to worry about people seeing it and asking questions. I have this platform that I like to share with you, but when I'm with my family and out, sometimes I don't want to be bugged. So anyways, with that said, here we go. As you can see, I got this trimmed off. Okay. Put it right here. Make sure I'm right in the right area. Just like that, guys. Does it hurt? Absolutely not. No hairs underneath it, good to go. Now I can scan my new sensor, and guys, I can be on my way. All right, guys, I hope that this video helped you out. As always, thanks for staying to the end. Please go ahead and share this video with anybody you think would be helpful, and I'll catch you on the next one.